Oh, would you believe it? Just as I stopped recording, this went up to 34. Look, 34. 34. You see? Right, guys, if you're lucky enough to be watching this foot match starts, obviously it's a little freebie. Again, we never know how these are going to go. It's just that I've got this one marked down on my selections as a strong underdog. So basically what that means is obviously we've got the favourite here, Matteo, and we've got Dennis, is it right? Dennis Cudler as a strong underdog. So it's quite a bit, you know, we've got a strong favourite here. I mean, you could, you could put a lay in on this, but I'll just show you. We'll just have a quick look at the other thing to look for. I mean, this down as a strong underdog, but you always best to check the... Um, I always check on flash goals as well to, to double check them, just make sure. And then you can weed out the really good ones. Because what I always say is if there's a big list, if, I've got, if I send a big list through with a strong underdog, you don't want to be doing every one, every single... You can do if you want. You can do it. I mean, you can I just split it up. Between them all, to be honest, you know what I mean? It depends on how strong you think they are. But sometimes I like to pick out the uh, the strong ones. But let's have a look at this one, just as an example, and I'll show you what I do. So, like I say, I've got this one down as a strong underdog. It just doesn't mean they're going to win. It just means that it's possible. Again, not a guarantee. It's, this is where people get mixed up. doesn't mean the underdog's going to win. Could do. Could blow it away at this price. That'd be brilliant. But it just means that there's a possibility that the way they played in the past, they could give the favorite quite a strong game which would push this price out so say you lay at this price and it, the underdog starts play good this price will start to go up and you can basically put a back bet in for your same amount to get a free bet obviously it explains that in me box but i'll just have a quick look i'll show you what we do so i've gone to flash scores i've already loaded it in i think on flash scores this one yeah so this is the match so just Basically, search for whatever player you want and flash goes. And then it'll bring matches up like this, previous match and everything. So just, just click on today's. Now, the important bit on this one is when you go on head to head, this is what you're checking for, you need to look what surface they're playing on because it can make a difference. It can make real, because you might get some players, uh, some players, sorry, what play better on clay, some better on hard surface, and some on grass so he you know i mean for example he might be better at playing on clay he might be better at playing on grass and if they're playing on clay then obviously he's got an advantage so if that makes sense so first level what they're playing on is grass so we'll click onto grass and then i want to have a look at the 10 matches so just click on the show more matches we've actually got a previous match room here and uh we'll quickly look at, I just move that across back onto that that's it that's better now we can see what we're doing all right so uh matteo actually won the the other one i'll have a look at that in a bit see yeah uh, i mean even though it's zero we want to see how he played as well so yeah i mean matteo is a strong favorite looking at this he's only lost one on this surface so it's like 90 percent win rate that and we've got one on one, two, three, four, five, six. So he's got like sixty percent, but he's still good. He's, you know, what I mean, he's got a sixty percent chance, but it's sixty to ninety. But it's not bad, you know. What I mean, he's got a sixty percent chance of getting it. This one's got ninety, so it's more likely that Matteo's going to win this one. Again, not a guarantee it could happen, but it's still a possibility that he could give him a strong game. That's what I'd look for. So yeah, he's, you know, what I mean, it's above fifty percent, sixty percent's a good, good chance. So, uh, and these are wins, bear in mind as well, which makes him strong. So, let's look at this, not the ad. And what? Right, they were playing on grass on that one. They're on grass again, aren't they? I do look at. So, just on a quick look. So, three. Yeah, once I made a, I don't think that made a massive difference, actually. What I'm wanting to see on this is a little bit more equal. Or I'd like I'd have liked to have seen Dennis get at least you know I mean at least four five on this first one or even this one to make a difference. More than likely this one. This would have been the best. The first you know I mean this this first one this first set is always the best. 
So, uh, yeah, I'd have liked to see a bit more on that. So he's strong. Could he push price out a lot? It's debatable. So it's not 100% this one. But, um, but like I say, he's, the reason he's down as a strong underdog is because of this. You know, he's 60%. So, uh, yeah, he's strong. Whether he can pull it off on this one, not quite sure. But this price is not too bad because if you have a look at this, let's say uh, we um, get rid of that. Let's say you put 100 in here. You've only got a £22 liability. So uh, the thing is, is even if you left it on, you're only going to be down £22. So let's say it does get pushed out for an example. So even though it comes out a little bit, so what should we say? Say pushes them out to, well, let's put this original one in. Let's put it to 130. So you see, this is the thing. If it pushes it out to 130, you're going to get a free bet on the favorite. So this is what I'm trying to say. So you you kind of like down your worst case scenario if you left it to run, it'd be twenty-two pound loss for an hundred pound trade, as I call it. But if it was to play strong and just knock these points up by about eight, which would take it to one point three, which is not a lot, it can happen, it can happen. You would then back your same money out again as you look, laid it for hundred, back at one three for hundred. You could put these in prior and save them. And if it's that mark. You've then got a free bet on your favourite. And he's more than likely, again, not a guarantee, but he's more than likely gonna win. So you've got a free bet on it then. I don't think it'll let I don't think Betfair lets me do it any lower than that. To see now you see you won't let me go down. So uh, so okay, I'll tell you what I'll do, just two minutes, I'll just go on edging calculator. All right, so just on edging calculator, just take a look at that. I've put lane in. So we were looking at what are we looking at? We're looking at coming in at one two two four hundred pounds. So one point two two and hundred pound. So let's say worst case scenario we come down to one ten. Yeah, you're looking at ten pound loss. So if you was to play really strong, you could come back out for hundred and ten. You can use this calculator. And uh, to guarantee a minus ten pound, well, nearly eleven pound loss. So that's what I'm saying. You can do a, you can like a free bet, or worst case scenario, if he actually starts to crack it in, then you're not going to be down a massive amount. So I mean, what are we if it goes even further? Oh, five. You can actually lock it in at like sixteen pound. So. It's not bad for a possible £8 free bet if you play as well. So this is the kind of thing we do, and you can do this over and over again. You can actually alter these. You can actually take this up a bit more if you want. But... Uh, so the other thing you can do is, we say 130. But the other way you can do it is you can, um, if you want this edging calculator, and if it does go up to 130, so you can either do the free bet like we did on here. Yeah, let me turn it back up again. So you can put in your same amount, you get your free bet. Or what you can do is you go on this edge, you can edge it out. So if you put 93.85 in at 1.3, you can put that in redder and you'll guarantee yourself six six pound fifteen either way. So uh, yeah, that's the other way you can do it. So I'll just show you. So if we put you see if you do it that way and it goes out, which is going out now, we're actually in play on this one. So see on that one alone, what we'll do if I don't mean it, let's have a look. This would be tiny minute it would. Let's have a look there. 240. So you'd have you'd have had 240 now if we'd have come in. So it's just just a little example. Be. 
I thought, uh, it's not much, but it's there. It's because third a bit strong. You know what I mean? You might go up a bit more. We'll see, he's playing good. So I'll keep an eye on this one. But yeah, I didn't have a go on this. I could have had a go on it if I wanted to. But the thing is, putting hundred pound lay at that price, uh, you wouldn't you wouldn't have lost hundred pound. You were just down about twenty two pound. That's obviously if it had carried on going this game and it'd have won straight away. You know what I mean? It'd just kept cracking them in. But even with this small amount, we'd, we'd have still got that. It's not, it's not a lot, but it just shows you that what you can do, and you can do this in small little increments over and over again if you want to do it that way. I mean, I've just shown you this live before the game even started to show you that it's possible to uh, make that. And that's like, that's literally um, a good percentage return. You know what I mean? On on your Well, it's not, it's not even on your 100, is it? You can't call it 100, it's on your... It's like ten percent return on your twenty twenty two pound technically loss. If that makes sense. So yeah, it's uh, it's not bad going that work that out actually. So we said what did we say the loss were twenty to have been worst case. I think we said twenty two, didn't we? Uh, times ten percent two pound twenty. Yeah, that's bad. That's a bit more actually. So. Yeah, it's more than a 10% return. Just in one trade, 10%. Do that every day. You don't have to work that out. It's like compounding. So, and look, what's happening now? Look, see, strong underdog. I'm going to watch this a bit longer just to see. Intrigue, let's refresh that. See, this is why I don't always record because it doesn't give me time to get into the game. He's not playing bad at all. Yeah, see, you'd have to, I'd have to replay this back and see what these uh, actually went to, because I missed that. We're doing recording, but yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. But, uh, but yeah, it's... Uh, Sorry, I was just checking this game, but yeah, it's, I mean, look how much money's been through these. It's ridiculous. Look at this. If you've got ladder on, you could see what were happening better. So yeah, I'll leave it at that anyway. And if I get any more, I'll, I'll put them on again. Do you believe it? Just as I stop recording, this went up to 34. Look, 34. 34. You see, so we'd have got, we'd have got what we wanted. Let's go on that. Back price. Come back on here. Yeah, so we'd have got what we wanted. Look at that, I'll just put that in. So that edge on that one, 34, it went up to bang, we'd have had 8.95 either way. Or £12 free bet. What can I say? 